Friends, welcome again into the, the second session to the, the behind the scenes of, of, of the Bible. And so, friends, um, in chapters 13 to 17, I introduced the concept of deconstruction as the reader. And I, I, I do, I do, friends, encourage that we read this philosophy because it, it, it helps us in terms of how we think and, and, and how then we live our lives. Now we, we, we are moving to chapters 18 to 22. And I don't want us to lose the, 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 the essence of deconstruction theology. Because it is evident throughout, even before Darida had developed this theory, it, it was evident even in, in biblical times that most times we, 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 want, we, we, we want people to, to live and understand things like us because we believe we have absolute truth to life. And that's how colonialism, friends, uh, developed throughout the world. Because I believe... I, I had I had a absolute understanding or absolute revelation to life, and so I will go um, um, everywhere, uh, impose my power, impose my culture, impose my everything because I believe what I have, whether by how I look, whether by what I have, whether it's about the gender, I will impose. Because I believe I have the absolute truth. That's why we, the problem of, of patriarchy, that's how it, it, it was developed. We men believed we were, we were better, we were, we were stronger. We, 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 we hold the absolute truth and the mysteries of, 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 of creation and, 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 and of everything. Therefore, anyone else must, must, must be oppressed. Must be oppressed, must be killed, must be must be sidelined, must be marginalized. Because I, as a man, believe I have the absolute truth. And so the, the question of the disciples and the teachers of the law is, 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 is that conflict. The, the teachers of the law, the priests, were threatened by this gospel, by this different meaning of the same scripture, because they had imposed their understanding and meaning of who God was to experiences of everyone. And it doesn't mean that the position they held were wrong. But what was wrong was they then made themselves to be the epitome of God's mysteries and revelation. That's when the church began to grow in a different light that threatened their position in this absolute truth bearers of the time. And friends, unfortunately, the church went into the same trap. For many, many years, religion was used to colonize people. Because there is someone who believed that we hold the absolute truth. And so what is the key then in chapters 18? 
to 22. We, we, we see closely we, 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 we start to see closely the cracks between the people called the way. We, we, we see we see now um, uh, um, as much as they are having these forces, these religious leaders, the Roman Empire breathing on their neck, but they are starting to struggle with themselves. How can I and the Samaritan be one? How can I as a Jew and the, and, and the Greek be one? So you are starting to see this conflict between the, the Jewish believers and the Gentile believers. You're starting to see them disagreeing on many things. Because the Jew is still constructed into thinking that they have superiority when it comes to the mysteries of God. And you have the Gentiles who still believe that they are inferior when it comes to the things of God. And so today you have the church that still believes they have superior understanding when it comes to the mysteries of God. The church has an understanding of the mysteries of God. They have interrogated meaning, but it is not superior to the rest of the world. Because the church does not hold the absolute truth of the revelation of God. We have to interrogate. And there are things which we, 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 must, we must deconstruct as a church. So that those that experience different meanings of who God is and how we, we experience this love and this gospel, we can be able to worship together and add value to each other. And so as much though as the disciples are experiencing uh, this 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 uh, um, difficulties with each other. They they have the attitude of growth and the attitude of journey with other. They are now starting to to question issues of food because Jews did not eat certain food. They had to eat certain food of which death did not apply to Gentiles. When they come together and have communion, now they are st starting to struggle. What do we do now? Are we no longer Jews? Uh, are, are we Jews? Must we be the issues of circumcision? Must we be circumcised as Gentiles so that we can fully understand the mysteries of And so, and so, what is our place now? We now all believe in Jesus Christ who raised from the dead, but what about these things? The Gentiles do not wash when they, when they, when they eat. We wash hands. We have particular traditions that we follow. But remember, tradition. a social construct. They themselves do not hold the absolute truth of life. 
That's why when we hide behind traditions, behind culture, behind religion, We are saying these hold the absolute truth of what, what is the meaning of life and of which it is not true. Religion must be interrogated. Culture must be interrogated. Tradition must be interrogated. And derived to a meaning which edify life, which is about justice, which is about love, which is about grace. And so if our religion, our religious practices, our cultures, our tradition stand in the way of the love of God, the, the grace of God, then we have made this to hold the absolute truth. And that absolute truth was actually these were the construct that we created as human beings. And so the role of, of the church in Acts, as much as they themselves struggle with these, is to come and say, we understand that we have certain tradition." We understand that we have ways of life. We understand that we have uh, doctrines. We understand that we have buildings. But these cannot become a hindrance for anyone to experience God's love, God's grace, God's justice. If all these become a hindrance for anyone to experience God's love, God's grace, God's just, then we, we have placed ourselves in a dangerous position of thinking that we have arrived to the absolute truth, to the mysteries of God. And so, and so and so and so that 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 is the that that is the important aspect of this of this church that is being birthed. And I want to dare you, friends. God will always reveal God's mysteries in the most amazing way. We will see the church that birth itself in every generation because each and every generation needs to interrogate the meaning and what it means for them. And so chapters 18 to 22, we see these conflicts within the people called the way but we also see the attitude of growth. This, 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 these struggles do not in essence take away the fundamental position which these disciples have placed themselves of service. They continue to serve. as God continued to help them experience this mystery. Even the Jewish um, um, apostles and, 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 and disciples begin to experience this God with all the constructs they have had, with all the, the, the law, and they begin to experience this God anew. Because as much as they thought they have the absolute truth, this God continues to be revealed in the most amazing way. So as a church, when did we close our doors into experiencing the mysteries of God? 
when did we start to be to believe that that we we have it all now and therefore we are well and everyone is going to hell when, when did we arrive at a space of thinking that we 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 we, we can we, we what we know is the fullness of who God is. And therefore, no one else can experience this mystery because we have already barricaded it and built blocks around it. It is ours and no one must interfere. When did we as a church arrive at that? Because the image of the cross gives us an understanding of of, of a Christ who is alive. We, we have the Logos, who is the Christ, and we have the Rema, which, which is the dynamic uh, a voice of, of Jesus that continue to cultivate meaning in us. That is Acts 18 to 22. Thank you, friends. We continue with the journey.